How you doing everybody? Randy Richard in the shop. Now this is the part right here. This is the part we're uh, making, the black part and the gold part here and the straps up here. Uh, this is a model that I drew up to, so to represent all the motions and uh, just to get a better understanding of how the unit works and and uh, for clearances and all that good stuff uh, you can really get a good idea now I'm using fusion 360 and uh, I'm just gonna run through real quick this is this so this the green the green is representing the grinding wheel uh, this base fixture here this base fixture moves in and out on a rod that you turn here this you turn this rod down here it has a hand wheel and a screw and all that but that so this can go in and out to the to the grinding wheel and it rocks in this direction here now I'm going to lock that feature so we can move all the rest so you'll set this and what this is for is so you position the grinding of the this represents the drill the where on the wheel face that grind I should say uh, you know if you want to they say so, you know so smaller drills works better over on the right hand side of the wheel uh, but you want to have that whole cutting lip uh, grinding if you can uh, across the face of the wheel so you can adjust that up and down where on the wheel face also you'll use this to dress the wheel back and forth let's see here now uh, I want to what I'm going to do is I'm going to lock uh, I'm going to try to here. <laughs> uh, I might not be able to do this, actually. We'll see if I can. Uh, there we go. Uh, that should stop. There we go. That stopped now. Now that's locked in, in place. Now I put some markers on here so I knew where 118 degrees was and uh, over here is 180. Uh, so this here part swings and this part here is what you'll set your angle, the tip angle of your drill grind. So 118 is the standard, uh, 59 degrees obviously, uh, where it would be set. So that's, we'll just set that right there. Now, the other adjustments you have is you have this here. This this piece we made already, and it has, here's the cam follower uh, pin that we put in, and here's the stop screw. And this here, you can adjust up and down. Up and down like that, right? And we can turn here, we can look at this side of it, and you can see here up and down. Now, it, it seems to me that most of the time you want center line of the graining wheel center line of the drill uh, that's it looks to be the optimal point now the bigger drill though I think you might end up having to raise you'd you'd actually have a you might want to raise it a little tiny bit and you can by changing that you can get a little bit of adjustment on relief angle uh, but the relief angle they the indicated in the instructions though is all about the relationship your drill to the chuck of how you set it and that's makes the relief angle being set by the the lip angle in a relationship to the cam uh in the in the chuck itself but this here gives you an adjustment to be on center line or a little above if you want on the grinding wheel now we have a pivot pin in this swing fixture here right right down in here you can see it right here right here this is representing the pin what that is allowing is for this part here to swing and this swings as you ride the cam which is right here against the follower this turning you as you're turning this to sharpen your drill this cam is following this follower and it causes this oops well not that much rotation huh anyway it causes it causes this here to rotate like this so as it as you start your sharpening it will you're rotating and it's going to be spinning away from the grinding wheel in this direction now there is one other cam and i'm going to remove the drill chuck Swing it out of the way, kind of. Anyway, here's the cam on this fixture that we'll be making. 
right there. That cam draws the chuck through these pins up here, which ride on the cam. As you're rotating it, it draws the, let me see if I can get it to do this here. Uh, it draws the chuck away from the, actually along the, ro the rotational axis of the chuck, it draws it away from the wheel also. So you have these two motions. You, you have a rotating, you have three motions basically. Oops, here. I don't have this one locked and uh, it's uh, being a little fussy here. So you have three, uh, you have rotation of the chuck, you have axial motion of the chuck, and then you have pivot point of the chuck all happening at once uh, as you sharpen the, sharpen the drill. Uh, the, 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 this vertical you've locked in place, this swing here you've locked in place, and this part here you've basically locked in place. Except you will be moving the base part. You'll be moving the whole unit inward as you sharpen. You'll you'll move it in a little bit, sharpen your lips. And if it needs more grinding, you'll move it in a little more, do some more grinding back and forth. And you'll see that all in the demonstration. But uh, anyway, that's this is the standard fixture. Now I'm going to change over here. Now this is the large chuck fixture I'm working on. Uh, this is the follower mechanism, uh, bracket and, and follower for the cam. This part here is basically the same as the other part, uh, as in the standard one with the cam, but it's just larger. This base piece is different. It's not adjustable up and down. So you want the height of this to be just right on center line or a tiny bit above. And... Uh, this part here, uh, the base plate is the same base plate. This part here swings to set the angle again, and you lock that in place. And this part here pivots just, uh, oops, I don't have it locked. Um, let's see here if I, I don't have that joint turned on right now. So, uh, but this part here pivots in relationship to this, just like the standard one where the cam follows the follower and pivots and you're rotating and it's withdrawing along the axial the same as the standard one right just like that it, it will withdraw what it, as it follows the cam and it will this part pushes away from the uh, pushes away from the cam also this part is fixed it's moving right here but anyway this is a lot of joints here a lot of uh, relative motion and and everything going on uh, this is the grinding wheel again so what we're going to be building on uh, the next uh, setup will be we'll build it will build this this and this now I want to thank uh, Mark Rowland uh, contact me he has a CNC machine and I've modeled all this and I've sent all this to him and he's going to see well the feasibility of us maybe machining uh, CNC machining these these this part and this part at least uh, so uh, Mark's uh, helping me out here. We're gonna we're working on uh, the feasibility of doing that, and because he wants a setup also, so maybe we can uh, get this uh, CNC machined instead. But I just want to show everybody uh, some of this stuff that I've been working on, and uh, and we'll just uh, we'll keep going on this project. This is a good project, and uh, it's a fun thing to do. So stay tuned for the videos, and uh, please I like to please subscribe and uh, help support the channel. We'll, uh, we'll have some more good videos coming out about this. So thank you guys. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to everybody. And uh, we'll see you in the new year.